conversation, the more awareness around why the 26th of January isn't a day to celebrate. It's not a day to, I mean, this, this day is glorifying, celebrating essentially just glorifies violence against First Nations people, glorifies genocide against First Nations people. So I think that it's, um, yeah, I hope that the more voices, the more conversation, the more awareness essentially create change. So I, I hope that's what we start to see more and more is just change. Amazing turnout and so good to see so many Indigenous and non-Indigenous, so many young um, activists here to support something that I hope more people do in the future. Angie, how old are you? I'm nearly 14. Oh, and you've, you've been to, I believe you've been to invasion rallies before? Yeah, many times. Many times, right. And uh, what, what, do you, what do you hope is achieved at these rallies? I hope that the government gains a conscience and realises that what we're doing is wrong by celebrating this day. What do you think that the government should do? Well, I think obviously they should change the day and abolish a day that celebrates genocide. I think that would be appropriate. I find it really awful that people celebrate these day, this day and how ignorant people can be when they don't think of the true meaning behind this day. I find that awful. The fact that we're celebrating a country that locks up 10-year-old kids in jail, that's awful. Yeah, it's really bad. The fact that we've had to fight for this for so long is so awful. We've been doing it for so long and no one's done anything. It's bad.